So I picked up two sets of these super cute little bumblebee um, little things for a costume. A little child could wear these. They kind of have like these little straps or whatever and I'm sure they put them on like a backpack. But, um, and also this cute little tutu style skirt right here. It's just a little, I think it's a Velcro. Um, actually, this would make a super cute costume, to be honest with you, for a little girl. Um, I would have loved to have found this at the Dollar Tree when my daughters were little. So, I just, so, so stinking cute. But I bought it because you guys know that I love bumblebees and honey and all that stuff. So, I've kind of got a little idea in my head for a possible display. Um, maybe for in my foyer area and so that is why I picked up two of these guys and this possibly to use it just for the material all right so our church is having a fall festival and we the one of the themes for a decorated pumpkin that we can choose is a western theme so they have these really cute little cowboy hats at the Dollar Tree and um, they, ha they came in a couple different colors but I of course just picked up a traditional brown another thing that I picked up for our western theme pumpkin is this little sun this glasses and clown nose and you're probably thinking what does that have to do with a western theme well our pumpkin is actually going to be a rodeo clown and so i'm going to hot glue the nose onto our pumpkin and possibly use these really cool cute little glasses my children just had to go ahead and open them they were really cute and matter of fact this would make a really cute costume as well. Matter of fact, I, it looks so cute on my 11-year-old um, son that I asked him if he wanted to be Waldo for, for Halloween this year. And he's like, who's Waldo? <laughs> so let me know if you know who Waldo is. Anyway, oh, see all this fun stuff here? All these boas, feather boas. I absolutely love these things. When I see these at the Dollar Tree, I usually always scoop them up. I don't go into the Dollar Tree all the time. Um, but now that we are in the holiday season, um, I use these. If you watch, if you know about my other um, videos and whatever, Christmas last year, I probably mentioned that I used white boas in some of my garland in my living room as well as some pink boa on a really pretty like pink tree that I had. So when I walked in um, to Dollar Tree today they had the green and the purple and I thought this would be great for a Halloween tree. I'm unfortunately not going to be able to do it this year because of our move and renovations and all that but I went ahead and picked up I believe seven of the green and maybe like six or seven of the purple something like that anyway while they had them in those fun fun colors and these just these are a great value one of my, probably my all-time favorite things to buy at the dollar tree because you can go to other stores like hobby lobby and michael's and at least unless you guys know something different than i do when i have seen them they have been like you know you know maybe three four or five dollars and now granted a lot of times they might be a little bit you know a lot thicker than this but Seriously, I mean for one dollar. This is a great deal as far as I'm concerned some other things I picked up a couple packs of soap Two packages of that I picked up a package of this kind of like generic icy hot um, I want to help my my husband sometimes will get like backache and stuff like that And I want I got this for him and I wanted to try and see if he liked it I'm not sure if it leaves his skin feeling sticky or not. If you have used this before and it works great, let me know. I also just picked up some band-aids. We were out of them. Um, some of the variety pack. And I actually like fabric bandages the best. I think that they tend to stick the best. Um, but unfortunately, they only had the fabric bandages in one size. And now that I'm looking, I forgot I was supposed to pick up a pack of bandages of those like the really big ones, like for really big boo-boos. Anyway, there's that stuff. I also picked up this really fun colored lip gloss. I love lip gloss. Um, this is just the LA Colors. It's kind of this really pretty, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's kind of like a, you know, like a white, like a, like a burgundy-ish red. Um, I have had hit and misses with lip glosses that I've purchased from the Dollar Tree before. Um, I wanted to go ahead and give this one a try. I've bought some before and they smelled weird or they made my lips sticky or I just didn't like them. So we're going to give this one a try and see how it goes. 
Everything else I picked up from the Dollar Tree was just like kitchen gadgets. We needed some loaf pans, so I picked these guys up. And you know, I know these are not the best quality, but I don't know, you can, they're okay. Um, I'm just always worried that the coating probably is gonna come off pretty quickly. Um, I have never really tried the loaf pans. I've had cookie sheets before, and it just seems like I said, like the coating comes off pretty, pretty quickly. But for a dollar, you can replace them very inexpensively. So I got four of these. I got this square one. And I got this two of these, what they're calling brownie pans. Kind of like a smaller, and that is a great brownie pan, actually. Okay, so I also picked up these disposable loaf pans. I believe my daughter is gonna take a spin at making her own bread, um, and so, you know, I got her the, of course, the loaf pans that I just showed you, but I also picked up a couple of these. These are also great for meatloaf. Um, if you do, if you wanna break it up and do smaller meatloafs, because if you don't eat it all, you already have one, you can freeze it. Plus, who likes to clean the pan after they eat meatloaf? It's just nasty. And I even use sacri what I call sacrificial bread at the bottom of my meatloaf, but it's still kind of nasty. So, there's those. And we, in our house now, um, we have to remodel our kitchen. But until we do, I um, our sink is one of those old, like, um, oh gosh, what is it? Like a cast iron, I guess, or whatever sink, which I love it. But at the same time, it is really, really hard. And like, it would not take much to break something um, if you let it slip from your hands. It's just a really hard material. Um, and so I picked up these two little sink mats um, just to put a little, you know, just to put a little softness um, between, you know, the very bottom of the sink and my dishes. Last but not least, I picked up two of these pair of kitchen scissors. I love these things. I think this is a great quality as well. I have a pair that unfortunately has probably been used for multiple multiple things, <laughs> not just um, kitchen purposes, which is kind of weird and gross. <laughs> so I went ahead and picked up two more of these. Um, I'll pull up, keep one in the kitchen, and my daughter said she would actually like to have some. She also has a small herb garden that she has started, and I believe she's wanting a pair of these to cut some herbs and stuff like that with. So anyway, that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, if you guys love Dollar Tree and you like some of the items that I have or you're interested in anything or you want to give me some tips about any of the products that I have, leave that in the comment section. And if you have not already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my wonderful YouTube family. See you guys in the next video. Bye.